Thank you for clicking on this Swift tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a timer. So we're going to make a stopwatch together. And uh, this is a useful function, not only for making stopwatch, but in many other apps where you have to time something. And trust me, you're going to use this function more often than you think. So this is a great uh, thing to learn how to do, how to create a timer. And in this video, we're going to do just that. So if that is something you want to know how to do, just keep watching this video because that is what I'm going to show you how to do right now. Okay, so let's create our stopwatch or our timer, whatever you want to call it. But the, before we can do that, we of course have to start a new Xcode project. It's going to be a single view application and I'm going to call it stopwatch. Make sure that the language is set to Swift and then click next before you save it on your desktop or wherever you want to save it. So now we're going to lay out the app. We're going to see how this is going to look. And of course, because it's a stopwatch, we have to display the current time. So I'm just going to put a big fat zero right there, make it big, very big. Let's see, let's center it and let's set the font to, let's try 70, no, 100. Yep, there we go. It's big, great zero right there. And then I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to center it in the container. And I'm going to set the distance to the top and just put some constraints on there. And then I'm going to drag in the buttons. The first one button is going to be the start button. Let's see, I'm going to have a black background. It's going to be a white text. I really like that combination, that black and white uh, on the buttons. Looks fancy. Uh, this is going to be the play. No start button then we're going to have the then we're going to have the pause button and then we're going to have the <laughs> reset button so that's i think that's all the buttons we're going to need for this awesome stopwatch we're going to have start pause and then reset just like that uh, I'm not going to go through centering or putting any constraints on those buttons, but of course you can do that if you want to have it look extra nice. But right now I'm just going to leave it at that. Tidy a bit up here, remove that text, remove that text, tidy a bit up there just so it looks nice and tidy. And then I'm going to import the label, the stopwatch, just going to call it a label. And then I'm going to import the start button, start, which is going to be an action, a button, connect it up. It really doesn't matter if it's a button or if it's a, any object. So I'm going to just drag and pause. It's also going to be an action, leave it at any object. Let's see. And then the last button that we need is the reset button, reset. Also going to be an action. There we go. There we have all our buttons that we need. And now to the timer. First of all, we need a variable that's going to keep track of the time. So we're just going to call it time. Simple enough. And it's going to be equal to zero to start with. So that is our variable that keeps track of time. Now to the, our timer, we're going to call it um, a timer and it's going to be an NS time, time, timer. It doesn't want to suggest it, okay. And it's timer, then I have to write it out myself. And then let's see, it doesn't like it. Okay, Xcode 8, just timer, fancy stuff. No problem. And then we're going to create the timer. So let's see, I'm just going to set the timer Let's see, I'm going to start the timer when the, when the person clicks starts, obviously. So I'm going to say timer dot, just so we have a bit more space, I'm going to just have a look at the view controller like that. I'm going to set the timer equal to a uh, timer dot 
schedule timer with interval. We're going to have a one second interval. It's going to repeat, yes. And let's see. I think I chose the wrong one. Let's see. Uh, scheduled timer with interval. Let's see. This is the one we need. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's see. One target is going to be self. The selector is going to be the action or the function that we're going to call once uh, this timer starts. I'm just going to write selector and I'm going to call it uh, view. Let's see. View controller dot. I'm just going to call our timer for or the function that we're going to call for action user info. We don't have any user info. And of course, it's going to repeat, else it's going to be a stopwatch that isn't too functional. Now we have to create the function that is being called every time this timer um, clicks at one interval. So every second, this function right here is going to be called. So it's going to be named action, as we stated right here. And we're just going to say time plus equal one. So we're going to add one to our current time and then we're going to display it in our text field. So label dot text is equal to string time. So what we're doing is we're basically every time this uh, goes up one, we're calling this function, taking the time plus one and then displaying it in our label. So this is just the start. This is when the user clicks the start button. Now, if the user clicks the pause button, we're going to say um, timer dot invalidate. So we're just going to invalidate the timer. Now, in order to reset it, we do the exact same thing. We say timer dot invalidate, and then we set the time time equal to zero. So let's try to run this application and see what we've got. And if we have done everything right, we should have a fully functional app that shows a fully functional stopwatch app. So here you have it. Let's try it out. I'm going to click start. There we go. It counts nice and upwards. We're going to set it to pause. It's pausing. We start it again. It's continuing to count. And if we reset it, and if we reset it, Nothing happens. Let's see what we did. Oh, of course, we have to update the label also. So we just say label is equal to zero. That's one. Oh, okay. Understandable. You want it as a text and the label dot text. So the text of the label is equal to no. What am I doing in parentheses? Yeah, okay. It sees like, looks like Xcode A tackles that without problems, which it should. So let's see, start, going to pause it, going to reset it, going to start it again. And while it's counting, I'm going to reset it. Beautiful, exactly as we wanted to do. And if you wanted to keep counting as you click the reset button, you can just comment out this one and it will just keep counting and just reset like that. So just as recap, I'm going to go through what we did here. We imported the label so that we have access to the label. Then we set the time equal to zero. We created our timer and imported all our buttons. Each time our user clicks the start button, we are actually creating the timer with a time interval of one second. We're, we're calling this function named action every time one, seconds, uh, one second passes. And we're going to repeat that until we say otherwise. When we click the pause, we're just really removing the timer. And when we click reset, we set the time equal to zero and also the text field equal to zero. So that's really all there's to it. That's all there is to creating a timer and creating a stopwatch. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you click subscribe button to this channel and you will see all the latest videos that I put out. Again, thank you for watching and I hope to see you back in the next video.